Hello and welcome. I'm Stephanie Webb. Thanks for joining us today. New at noon, a tree down in Sarasota is causing some big problems for some after bringing down power lines along with it. Now, the tree has fallen on South Orange between Floyd and Hawthorne. This includes Waldemere Street as well. Now, that area is closed at the moment. Officers are on the scene and they're asking you to avoid that area altogether for now. They do expect the area will be closed for another 45 minutes in that case. And topping our stories this morning, Christmas shoppers in Melbourne, Australia were stunned earlier this morning as an SUV plowed into a crowd of pedestrians in what is being called a deliberate act. ABC's Molly Hunter has the latest. Taken down and handcuffed on the street today, that's the alleged attacker, the driver of this white SUV. At rush hour today in Melbourne, Australia, officials say he plowed through pedestrians blowing through stoplights, speeding up, hopping the tram line before crashing into a tram station. Injuring 18 other people, witnesses described bodies flying into the air. I saw people running, turned around, um, saw people just scattered on the road. Some of them were just non-responsive. At this time, authorities giving no indication of his motivation, no evidence and no intelligence that suggests terrorism. What occurred was an act of evil and an act of cowardice. Another man nearby also detained. He was recording the incident on his cell phone and had several knives in his bag. It's just really scary, obviously. It's an horrific incident where a person has driven directly at pedestrians. Um, it's a crime. Police say the driver is of Afghan descent and has a history of mental illness, drug use and a minor rap sheet with police. He was dragged out of his car here, restrained by an off-duty police officer. The officer remains in the hospital. The youngest victim, a four-year-old boy, also injured. And at least four people in critical condition. This is horrific. It's evil. But we are not defined by these sorts of incidents. Australian police don't believe this was part of any greater plot. But like so many police departments across the world at this time of year, they're increasing security at crowded public places. Molly Hunter, ABC News, London. The search continues today for the person or people responsible for slashing tires in Bradenton. It happened late Tuesday night at the Park Crest Landings apartment complex. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says at least 20 cars had tires that were slashed, including some folks who had multiple vehicles damaged. Now, the car owners had to have spare tires placed on their vehicles, and in some cases, the cars needed to be towed away just to be repaired. The Sheriff's Office is taking a good hard look at who could have done something like this. We know it's somebody who had access to the apartment complex because it's gated, whether it's somebody that lives in there or whether it's somebody that managed to get in to do this uh, act of, of uh, property destruction. At this point, no surveillance video from the property has been made available, but that can change in the coming days. Now, authorities are continuing with their search in that investigation. All right, parents of Manatee County school kids, we have got some important dates that you need to know. The school choice open enrollment period is the only time during the year when parents can request their child attend another school different than the one they're assigned to without a reason. So here are the important dates you need to know to enroll high school students in school choice. It's open January the 8th through the 19th. For middle school students, enrollment is February the 5th through the 16th. And elementary student enrollment runs March 5th through the 16th. Now we have those dates for you online at mysuncoast.com just in case you missed them. All the elementary school parents can apply online as well. A new parking garage will open in what is now the City Hall parking lot. The City of Bradenton approved the more than half a million dollar contract yesterday. No word on what the final product will look like just yet, but according to reports by the Bradenton Herald, at least 100 of those spots are promised to the Spring Hill Suites Hotel across the street. Now for the latest on this story, plus up-to-date weather and traffic, just download our app. All you have to do is look for WWSB or My Sun Coast in the App Store. Now today on the app, we have got the latest on the big bonuses a few companies are giving employees after the tax reform this week. Plus, we've got your first alert holiday forecast. You'll find that from John Scalzi as well. Now today is the first official day of winter, the winter solstice. It is the shortest period of daylight and the longest night of the year, so get some sleep. It's also the time when the North Pole is 
is tilted the farthest away from the sun. Forecasters say more than half a foot of snow is expected in the north. Some areas in the south are already getting snow too, just as the end of the year holiday travel season is upon us. AAA predicts more than 107 million people are heading somewhere between now and the end of the year. And here is our first alert meteorologist John Scalzi. Listen to you look. shooting out all those facts. Boom, on. that's wow. right. That's right. Did you know Tilted. we're did you know we're actually closer to the sun during winter than we are during the summer? We are. Very interesting. I did isn't not that, know that. Isn't that a weird thing? That is a weird thing. You wouldn't yeah. think it. But because of that little tilt in the earth, that 22 and a half degree tilt. Oh, look it at does this. Everything. Look at Mr. Science right does here. Does everything. <laughs> all right, what's our holiday travel forecast going to look like? For us here, yeah, it's great. I love Because I'm staying home. It's, right. it's fantastic. He's off the road. You people are going to be fine. <laughs> if you're traveling, that's a little bit of a problem in some parts of the country. We'll talk about that in a few. This morning, we had some problems on the roadways as well with a little bit more of that dense fog that was around. Patchy, though. It wasn't quite as bad as it was yesterday, but still, in some places, it did cause the traffic to slow, and several locations did have a little bit of a traffic alert out there this morning because of it. Uh, we have now some fair weather clouds streaming in across the region. I think we'll have some thicker cloud as we head into the afternoon. That's because of that kind of rope of cloud that you see just to the north. See that on the Gulf waters? That's our front and it's sinking southward. That frontal boundary will stall out, wash away, and not bring as much of a rain chance. You hardly see even any showers under it. There may be a small chance at a sprinkle or a little patchy drizzle. But as that front moves through, you'll hardly notice it today except for that little extra cloud cover. 10% chance of showers, that's all I'll give it with a 3 p.m. this afternoon, maybe a little extra cloud cover. 7 p.m. this evening, 70 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Complete forecast coming up in a few. All right, thank you, John. A Florida man has pled guilty to charges connected to his role in a suspected terror plot. 22-year-old Joshua Ryan Goldberg pled guilty on Wednesday to a count of attempted malicious damage and destruction by an explosive of a building. The target? A 9-11 memorial ceremony in Kansas City, Missouri. Related to his mental health situation and things he was doing on the Internet, completely unrelated to what you have seen. Um, that's a complicated answer. There'll probably be more information available as we go. Now, the plea was part of a deal reached with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Goldberg faces up to 20 years in a federal institution, but the recommended punishment is just eight years. Rising country star Michael Ray was arrested early this morning and accused of driving while intoxicated and possession of marijuana. This after a fender bender in a fast food drive through Now Ray, known for his kiss you in the morning country hit, was in an Orlando area drive through when he claims that his foot slipped off the brake and then he hit the car in front of him. According to the police report, Ray was slurring his speech and failed several field sobriety tests. Tennis superstar Venus Williams will not face any charges in a deadly crash that happened this past June. According to the police report, surveillance video shows that both vehicles stopped for tra traffic and that Williams didn't violate the other vehicle's right of way. The passenger in the other car was conscious and speaking at the time of the accident, but appeared confused. Police say he later passed away nearly two weeks later in the hospital. Sarah Palin's son is out on bail today, but now he's on house arrest and he has to wear an ankle bracelet. Track Palin is facing charges of burglary and assault after an argument that involved the family truck. Now, he allegedly punched out a window to get inside his parents' house. Palin is also accused of attacking his father in that instance. Still to come on your Suncoast News, the busy holidays are here, but why it's so important not to skimp on getting that beauty sleep and are the mumps making a return here in Florida? We're going to have those stories and much more when your Suncoast News continues. Coming up, we'll tell you where you can find free Christmas activities and get in the true spirit of Christmas. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. 
Make your holiday season extraordinary with a visit to your local Alfa Romeo dealer. Experience affordable Italian crafted luxury and world class performance. Like our 2018 Giulia, just announced as the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. MSRP starting at $37,995. Or drive home in the 2018 Stelvio SUV. MSRP starting at just $41,995. Premium comfort and excellent handling, even in the most challenging conditions. Now's the time to shift into season and reward yourself this holiday. Come in and see us today. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. The savings are bigger than ever during the Big Finish event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Why settle for less when you can shop the Suncoast's largest selection of America's favorite vehicles? Come take a drive and see why Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV of all time. Or for impressive off-road performance with a little bit of Suncoast style, shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Current air temperature coming in at 77 degrees. It's a nice day out there. 72 degree dew point, though it feels kind of humid. That dew point value is higher today, and boy, is it sticky thanks to that southwest wind. Actually, more west than southwest now, and that's going to continue throughout the day. Oh, it may shift a little bit more to the northwest, but generally speaking, a westerly wind flow. And at about 7 miles per hour, which is what it was this morning, one of the limiting factors to the fog being even more widespread than it was this morning was because the winds kind of stirred things up just a little bit, at least helped to. And also we had a little cloud cover. Temperatures across the state are generally coming in in the upper 70s most everywhere. Now, we do have a weak front that's sinking southward across the state, and that has cooled it a bit to the north. Check out those cooler temperatures in the Panhandle. 67 degrees Tallahassee, 67 degrees Panama City, 66 degrees in Pensacola. They were in the 50s this morning for daytime low, morning lows. So as that front sinks south, the thing is it's going to lose a lot of its steam. So the temperatures you see here, while they may actually crack the uh, 80 degree mark here locally in most locations, don't think they'll do that tomorrow. And they actually may not do it today because we're going to get a little bit of cloud cover in here just about uh, at the same time that we would normally see maximum heating. So that may cool us off a degree or two. Titan radar not showing any rainfall locally, but just over Pinellas County, there's the last little hint breadth of that frontal boundary sinking south. There's some snow showers back to the west. That's all part of a larger scale system. And that's the one that's going to create some travel worries, I think, for tonight in the uh, heartland and then tomorrow in the Ohio Valley. Eventually, that whole system moving off to the east will produce northeastern uh, snowfall that could be kind of a problem for big airports like New York City and uh, Newark and maybe even as far south as Washington, D.C. For us, I don't think it'll mean much more than a cool down on Christmas Day. So front number one, the one that we saw just to our north, will stall out and wash away without doing too much to us. We'll still be warmer than average over the next several days. We still have a chance of morning fog as it won't do much with our humidity either. And we'll have a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon and tomorrow probably a little bit more sunshine. Fog developing again toward morning as you can see on our future cast here, but not much in the way of a rainfall chance for several more days. 
Colder air back to the west. You can see that. Salt Lake City at 29. Albuquerque even at 45. That cooler air, part of a jet stream flow, which moves toward the east into the Ohio Valley and then eventually into the northeast, allowing some colder air to sink south, putting the deep freeze on the northeast during Christmas holidays. For us, we get a taste of it, but not a big taste. It just drops our temperatures to more seasonable average levels. West wind for boaters today at about 10 knots, becoming more northwest this evening at about 5. Nice day out there on the waters. 10% chance of showers later this afternoon. Next few days look warm and mild with a mix of sun and clouds. Monday, the front comes through and cools us off into the 70s. Steph? All right, thank you, John. That is looking like a good forecast. Well, we know that sleep is important, but during the hustle and the bustle of the holiday season, it can be easy to give up a few hours here and there. But doctors are saying don't do that. Disrupted sleep can actually impact your ability to form memories. Even Alzheimer's disease has been linked to people with sleep disorders. However, experts are still trying to determine whether the Alzheimer's disease is causing dis the disrupted sleep or if the disruptive sleep is causing the Alzheimer's. So just how important is your sleep? Well, research shows that even people with healthy brains can show signs of abnormal plaque buildup after just one night of disrupted sleep. We do know that sleep is very important for a number of functions, in particular memory. We, uh, we acquire new memories, but many times we have to have an adequate amount of sleep for those memories to consolidate. Now the doctor says that making sleep a priority puts your brain in a better position to retain memories that you want to hold on to for years to come. A Dallas mom accused of faking her own son's illnesses is facing a custody battle now. Child Protective Services found that Kayleen Bowen Wright's eight-year-old son went to the doctor 323 times and had 13 major surgeries. Now she was arrested and charged with injury to a child. Now the child's father was granted custody after a hearing just yesterday. The mother is believed to have Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That's a mental disorder where a caregiver creates or fakes a child's symptoms. The child's father said he tried several times to warn officials that his son wasn't actually sick. Now he says his son is struggling to understand that situation. All right, next, the mumps are making a return here in Florida. According to the Florida Department of Health, at least 56 cases of the mumps have been reported in the state this year. A big rise over past years, but still lower than some other states. Now, here in Florida, the outbreaks have occurred across all age groups, with the most infections found in Hillsborough County, Collier, Duval, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. The 2017 number included both confirmed and probable cases, and in at least half of the cases, has occurred in those who had the measles, mumps, rubella vaccination. Now across the country, about 5,000 cases have been reported so far. All right, time now to head over to the kitchen where there are no mumps, but there is a chef, Jamil, and he joins us from Michael's Anis. Hey, chef, what's on the menu today? So we're going to be doing a nice blackened mahi-mahi with some yellow tomato gazpacho, some spinach, roasted tomato, and some avocado corn salsa. So stay tuned. You can do something about a crime, any crime, and you can receive a reward of up to $3,000 cash. Call Crime Stoppers with information about criminal activity, unsolved crimes, drug dealers, fugitive criminals, stolen property, illegal weapons. Call 366-TIPS. You will remain anonymous. Visit SarasotaCrimestoppers.com. Download the Crime Stoppers P3 mobile app from the Apple iTunes Store or Google Play. Call Crime Stoppers 366-TIPS. Paid for by the Attorney General's Office, Crime Stoppers Trust Fund. <laughs> If high performance art is what you're into, look no further than Sunset Fiat of Sarasota. For maximum performance, check out the all new Fiat Spider. You'll flip over the superior handling and capability. Or follow roads less traveled in the Fiat 500X. No matter what your passion is, there's a Fiat for everyone. Prices starting as low as $13,999 during the Big Finish event. Going on now at Sunset Fiat of Sarasota. 
Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Attention blood thinner users. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or a loved one took Xeralto or Pradax and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. Have a great holiday. Happy holidays from ABC7. Well, in the spotlight tonight, Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. That's where a Christmas celebration will take you from hilarious and rowdy to spiritual and serene. ABC7's Linda Carson has more. Saturday, December 23rd on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. What a Christmas party that's going to be. This year we have a Ferris wheel. We have a train on a track. We have a snow hill. We've got some other carnival rides, a mechanical reindeer. So it's like a mechanical bull, but it's a reindeer. There'll also be snow, cookies, ornament decorating, and Santa Claus. The rides are for children and adults. It's a 50-foot Ferris wheel, so adults can ride it. They can ride the train. They can ride the mechanical reindeer. I encourage this. I love to watch. Um, they can ride the snow hill. They can decorate cookies if they want to decorate cookies. And aside from a few vendors and the restaurants that are open, everything is free. The rides, the cookies, the photos with Santa. It's all sponsored by the Grace Community Church. They're well known for their monthly contributions at Music on Main. Every first Friday we show up with uh, a lot of activity for Lakewood Ranch. And it's, it's what it's done is it's taken first Friday from being sort of an older group meeting to where now younger families are there because we do all this cool stuff. And that was going so well, Dr. Chip Bennett went to the managers of Lakewood Ranch with a proposal. Hey, could we throw a candlelight service for the community and could we make it fun so we'll make a couple hours of really cool stuff for the families and kids and then we'll close it off with 30, 45 minutes of some music, carols, and then a little bit gospel presentation with a candlelighting service and the rest is history. And the church has put a lot of money into making it great. Festivities start at 6. Then at about 8 o'clock, we get up on stage, the band does, sings a couple Christmas carols to get everybody sort of in the mood because, you know, not everybody's there for church reasons. And so we do that, and then we start moving into Christmas songs that people would know who go to church. And then I get up and sort of talk a little bit about the gospel and, you know, what Christmas really means. And they cap it off with a candlelight service. Thousands of people on Main Street holding candles and singing Silent Night. It's just this really special message magical moment no matter where you're standing it's just dark and quiet and just candles everywhere and you remember that you're in a street in the main part of town surrounded by businesses and people and life and yet there's this moment of just peace and quiet this entire street will shut down from 6 to 8 30 p.m on december 23rd from 6 to 8 there'll be all of the festivities and at eight o'clock the christmas service Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. We are in the kitchen with Chef Jamil from Michael's on East. Good to have you in here, it's sir. Great to be here. Always a pleasure. Always cook up something interesting and fun and extremely really. tasty. What you got going today? So today this is out of the uh, Sarah, uh, our lunch uh, city light menu. We okay. Do we have a city light menu? Uh, That's menu right. Course. It's very become very popular it's because very popular you know, everybody's one. eating healthy and such. And this mahi mahi right here, what I did is I put some uh, blackened seasoning, and you can see I'm not going to put any oil and I'm going to put any salt because the blackened seasoning has everything already. So what I do, I just put it right here and and. Uh, Press a little bit. I use a little bit of olive oil here to cook them. I love blackening, but I tell you what, you you do have to have a good range hood, don't you? Yeah, I do. And then you know, a lot of people don't be afraid to put enough in there. 
So make sure it's nice and cover, and we're gonna do like you know three, so we can fit three in here. And the way I did, we did the uh, City Light menu is to uh, you know to get a lot of the calories down, a lot of the fat grounds down, and we you know we created a lot of things with no starch, with a lot of vegetables. Like right here, we got a fresh, um, fresh tomato, yellow tomato of uh, gazpacho. Mm. You know, it's beautiful. We take the tomato, we roast them, and then we just get all the nice like, little vegetables in there, and then we take a little bit of avocado. And then we do have avocado with the corn. So we roast nice. the corn, we mix that together. And then right here we're gonna, you know, use a little bit of oil so because you know, remember this is a city light menu. And we're gonna just saute some spinach. And what I do, I just add the spinach to the pan, let it cook the bottom so the bottom cake gets nice and uh, crispy a little bit. We're just gonna uh, put a little salt. What the salt does is it's gonna allow you to get all the juices out of the spinach and get a little of uh, seasoning and flavor, a little pepper. And while that cook, we have here roasted tomatoes. We take roasted tomato, olive oil, garlic, and we roast them. So when you make the dish, it'll be nice, beautiful tomatoes, yellow gazpacho. You have all the tomato uh, flavor, and it's almost like a Southwest style of cooking. What does it do when you roast the tomatoes? Does it bring out the flavor? It brings or out the tomato, it brings out the yeah. sweetness. Oh. And uh, you know, like you have, when you have tomato sauce, it's nice and mm -hmm. a little tarty, a little bit of salt on it and it gives you that freshness. You don't cook them until they're way too cooked. You want to keep them a little al dente. So when you're tasting, you still have a little fresh, but you still have a little bit of that uh, roasting uh, flavor with the garlic in it. Nice. So it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> while this cook right here, we're going to go ahead and show you. Now, you don't have to get it too black right here. You Look can at see that, that, that for that looks right here. Yeah. So, and that's kind of neat because that blackening seasoning contains a lot of pepper and spices and things, and but when you cook it like this, it gets sweet, right? It, it gets sweet. It the does, hot goes uh, down and the that, sweet goes and up. And it's not as so spicy as a lot of people think it will be. No. It's yeah, good, not. especially with all these flavors. What I end up doing is I finish it in the oven. Okay. So that way that the, uh, there's a lot of nice smoke in there. There is. I think somebody <laughs> forgot to clean the oven yesterday after uh, yesterday's show. So let's go ahead and turn this off and show you a little bit of the presentation here. Mm -hmm. So what we do is that we take some of the uh, gazpacho <coughs> put it in the bottom here. A little smoky in here. Oh, it's good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take a little bit of the spinach. Now what I do with the spinach is I press it a little bit. So when you toss it, you see how a little bit of the crispness oh, come out of there? Oh, yeah, I do. So you want to have that little great. flavor on that. You don't want it just to be a saute spinach. Nice. You want it to give them good a little, yeah, a little bit of crispness on it, crispy, so that way you can uh, had that little bit of uh, smoky flavor on that. Mm -hmm. And I got my tongues right here. So what I end up doing right here, see how nice it looks? It's, a little, it's not uh, all the way cooked. About 30 seconds left, yeah. So we're just gonna put it in here, in the middle. And then we're just gonna build the dish with this. We're gonna put the, we will put the mahi on top, the tomatoes around it, the uh, avocado and uh, corn and then we just garnish it like that. And there's your final product right there. That's what it's going to end up looking like, and it is fantastic. No doubt, can't wait to tuck in. Black and my available at uh, only at lunchtime at Michael's? Only at lunchtime. And it's a reduced calorie menu, it's healthy menu, and it's fantastic. Chef, thanks very much. Thank Merry you Merry Christmas, me. happy Merry new Christmas year. Merry Christmas to you too. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you too. We'll be right back. Awesome. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. This holiday season, share the greatest gift of all, peace of mind. Nobody beats Subaru in service quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And ALG named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback, for just $2.29 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. 
Attention type 2 diabetics. The FDA warns of an increased risk of amputation associated with certain diabetes medications. If you took the diabetes medications Invokana or Invokamet and then suffered an amputation or one of these other serious injuries, call the Rely On Group right now. If you've suffered amputation or any of these other injuries after taking your diabetes medication, call the Rely On Group today. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-604-1698. That's 800-604-1698. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Dot Pharmacy is a website verification program that helps you identify safe and trustworthy online pharmacies. Purchasing medicine online can be safe and easy. Just look for pharmacy to the right of the dot in website addresses. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Well, welcome back. It's 1231, and I'm Stephanie Webb. A child welfare services provider is closing statewide, affecting Sarasota in a big way. The closing of Family Preservation Services of Florida means almost 70 layoffs in Sarasota, and the 11 offices in the state, more than 200 employees will lose their jobs. All right, a former Punta Gorda police officer charged with manslaughter says he won't get a fair trial in Charlotte County. Now he's asking for the trial to be moved to Broward County because he says his case has had too much publicity. Lee Cole is charged in the shooting death of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton during a police citizen drill. Now the gun he was firing during the scenario was supposed to have blanks but instead had real bullets. Now an update on that South Florida police officer who was dragged by a car earlier this week. The good news, he is now home from the hospital. Pembroke Pines police officer John Cusack was checking out a report of a possible overdose. He woke up the people inside of a car and while he was trying to speak with the driver, 38-year-old Thomas Cabrera, the driver punched the gas, dragging the officer more than a half a mile. This is video you're seeing right here from his body cam. He was going to speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. He was clinging on to that car for his life, and uh, fortunately, uh, he made it, he survived, and uh, it's a testament to his training, his experience, his, his knowledge as a police officer and as a training officer. Uh, he, he really is an, uh, an example of uh, what a fantastic police officer truly is was scheduled to appear in bond court yesterday, but the hearing had to be rescheduled because he was being treated at a hospital. Cusack says he was just happy that he wasn't more seriously hurt. And protests in front of a conservatives convention in Palm Beach where thousands attended overnight. Almost 3,000 people will be attending the four-day convention there. Parties from both sides have been gathering every day. The protest ended peacefully with no arrests. Anthony Scaramucci, who served briefly as White House communication director, is listed on the agenda to appear there today. And families are saying Royal Caribbean has been no help regarding that deadly bus accident that happened earlier this week in Mexico. A massive loss for one Florida family who have confirmed three of the 12 people killed is from their family. Two other family members are unaccounted for. Haim Shababo's grandmother, cousin and aunt died on that excursion to the Mayan ruins. He says the cruise line hasn't been any help in accounting for the rest of his family that was on the ship. The cruise line hasn't been any help. We called Royal Caribbean, we called Celebrity, we called 
all the cruise, you know, departments. We called the consulate in Mexico. We called everyone we can possibly call, and nobody has any answers for us. The family is now waiting on word on the other two family members, their uncle and nephew, who were told are injured but did survive that crash. Royal Caribbean has said in a prior statement that they're doing all they can to help out all of the guests. Red Tide played a large role in manatee deaths this year. Red Tide's presence was visible here along the southwest coast in Florida from September 2016 through February of this year. According to reports by the Bradenton Herald, experts say Red Tide is becoming an increasing issue in manatee deaths. More than 500 of them have died so far this year statewide of various causes, including the primary cause, boating accidents, as well as stress and other natural causes. 63 of those were due to red tide. A global reinsurance firm says the cost of the natural and man-made disasters jumped sharply up in 2017 to $306 billion. Hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Maria helped push annual damages far beyond the $188 billion posted in 2016. Harvey caused extensive flooding in Houston. Maria plunged Puerto Rico into an extended blackout. The U.S. was the hardest hit region with a huge amount of damage caused by the second costliest hurricane season since 2005. The three storms combined cost almost nearly $93 billion in insured losses. When Hurricane Harvey barreled through Texas, the Category 4 storm destroyed several homes, including that of the Weeks family, whose story went viral and reached a family that wanted to help from two states away, a family-owned construction business in Colorado had just finished a demo of a tiny home that they'd built in their driveway. They decided to donate it to the fellow young family in need. They drove three days and more than 1,000 miles to get it to them. Heard the story on ABC. We just kind of, I blurted it out, I think. Yeah. I just said, well, why don't we just give them it? Yeah. Give them the tiny house. The house. Happy ending after that storm. And finally, the answer to a 103-year-old maritime mystery. Australia's first submarine has finally been found. The fate of the 800-ton vessel and the 35 crew members aboard has been one of the most intriguing and persistent mysteries in Australia. It was the first loss for the Royal Australian Navy and the first Allied submarine loss during World War I. First Alert Meteorologist John Scalzi joins us now with a look at your forecast for today, the first day of winter and the holiday, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, not a uh, not a bad start to the day compared to yesterday in terms of the amount of fog that was out there. But if you did have dense fog, it was really thick in some places. It was very much this morning. Yep. So uh, here's a shot actually from the Van Wezel webcam this morning as dawn broke. And it's hard to see much of anything, right? Much less the Sarasota Bay there. By the way, the Sarasota Bay had a special marine warning, as did most of our coastal waters, as did all of our coastal waters, actually, because of a, a kind of persistent sea fog that lingered a little bit longer than it did over land. Uh, same thing that happened yesterday. It'll probably happen again tomorrow as well. Now we have plenty of sunshine out there closer to the coast. Inland still a few fair weather clouds, but the coast will cloud up as well as that rope of clouds that you see just to our north. Part of a cold front sinking southward will bring us a little extra cloud cover for a brief period of time this afternoon. Not much in the way of rain showers associated with that system, but uh, as we head into the afternoon, we, we will have about a 10% chance of a sprinkle, probably around 2, 3 o'clock. And then this evening, around 7, partly cloudy skies, beautiful evening, near 70. Tomorrow morning, you can expect to see some fog once again. And just after dawn, that fog will begin to lift as it has over the last several mornings. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in a few. All right, thank you, John. A hospital visit for a sixth grader in Illinois should have parents thinking twice about the safety of some of those Christmas gifts. Bucky balls are these things. They're magnetic balls that can attach to each other to form various shapes. But their small size makes them a choking hazard, as young Helena found out. Just two of the balls became lodged in her intestine after she accidentally swallowed them. And if untreated, the magnetic balls can connect two pieces of tissue together, causing big problems. Perforate the GI tract, you could get very sick very quickly. It would be kind of like a perforated appendix. You could get incredibly ill, almost life threatening ill. 
Five days and two colonoscopies later, Helena was finally let out of the hospital. Buckyballs were banned in 2012 after children ingested them and died. The company, sued, well, company was sued and put the toys back on the market in 2016. Following up on that story we first told you about this morning, the six-week-year-old baby that went missing after her mother was killed has been found. ABC's Maggie Ruley has a happy ending. After a massive manhunt, six-week-old baby Shamali Flores has been found safe and unharmed. Local police say they now have a suspect in custody. Shamali's mother was murdered two days ago in this Houston apartment complex. A family member found her body and called for help, but her baby, little Shamali, had already vanished. I pray that they find this baby. Police issued an Amber Alert and the FBI deployed its rapid child response abduction team. Our only goal is to bring justice to this family and that baby. Asking the public to be on the lookout for a woman who might try to pass the baby off as her own. Think about anyone who all of a sudden has a child that you weren't aware that they were pregnant. Even though she was unharmed, baby Shamali checked to the hospital as a precaution. Police were throwing everything they had at this case, using bloodhounds to canvas the neighborhood, even offering up a $5,000 reward to anyone who came forward with information. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Olympic gymnast Michaela Maroney is filing a lawsuit against USA Gymnastics, alleging officials covered up knowledge of her abuser, the team's doctor. Maroney was reportedly paid to keep quiet and signed a non-disclosure agreement for more than a million dollars back in late 2016. But her lawyers now say its non-disclosure clause is illegal in California because it involves the sexual abuse of a minor. By insisting that as a condition of paying her money for therapy and the, and the suffering she's incurred, that she has to keep Larry Nasser's secret and she has to keep USA Gymnastics' secret is repugnant. Earlier this month, Nasser was sentenced to 60 years in prison in Michigan on child pornography charges after pleading guilty to 10 counts of criminal sexual conduct. Still to come on your Suncoast News, the little guy may be seeing benefits from the GOP tax plan sooner than you expected. How major companies are celebrating the passing of the new tax bill when we return. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing, but sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, they gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Make your holiday season extraordinary with a visit to your local Alfa Romeo dealer. Experience affordable Italian crafted luxury and world-class performance. Like our 2018 Giulia, just announced as the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. MSRP starting at $37,995. Or drive home in the 2018 Stelvio SUV. MSRP starting at just $41,995. Premium comfort and excellent handling, even in the most challenging conditions. Now's the time to shift into season and reward yourself this holiday. Come in and see us today. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, no, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. We have a 77 degree air temperature outside. We have a little bit of fair weather cloudiness. 72 degree dew point, you know. 
you get dew points in the 70s, you know it is humid outside. And as you step out the door, I think most people would agree that it feels just a little bit sticky out there for this time of year. But that 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 high dew point value, that sticky air, um, that's going to start to mitigate just a little bit tomorrow as our wind shift more from a southwesterly direction which is where they are now, west-southwest, to a more northwesterly direction as we head into the later part of this evening and into the overnight. That'll help. Uh, we'll still have an onshore wind flow, but nevertheless, it'll be out of the north as opposed to out of the south. Right now at about 7 miles per hour, we'll watch those clouds kind of keep our daytime high temperature down, I think, into the upper 70s today to near 80. I don't think we'll see an 82 degree temperature or anything like that today. 79 degrees Tampa, Fort Myers, Orlando, Melbourne, West Palm at uh, 76. 77 Daytona, if you have uh, loved ones in Gainesville, it's 74 degrees. Or in Tallahassee, it's 67 degrees there. So temperatures across our region. Generally holding near the 80 degree mark in inland areas with Mayaka at 80, 81, Arcadia 80 in Northport. And then along the coastline with that onshore wind flow, we don't have, you know, much of a sea breeze cooling or much of an onshore wind flow cooling at this time of year. Not quite yet, but we still are a few degrees cooler than we are in inland areas. No rain falling across our region, but as I mentioned, we'll put in about a 10% chance this afternoon, probably around 2-3 o'clock in about an hour or two, for maybe a little bit of passing brief drizzle under a few of the clouds as they sink southward across our region. You know, it's not going to be a lot of rain by any stretch of the imagination, measured as probably a trace amount if we get any at the reporting station, and we're more than likely not going to. So across the nation, most of the nation's pretty quiet right now, but we do have a storm system kind of gathering intensity and strength in parts of the open plains, moving into the heartland and eventually into the Ohio Valley and eventually into the northeast, just about uh, the time when uh, the heaviest of the travel will occur, which is over the weekend. So that could be a problem if you have plans on traveling to New York or uh, anyway to the New York airport, to the LaGuardia airport, maybe even to the Washington, D.C. airport. So I think most of the action will be further to the north. We have a frontal boundary, as I mentioned, sinking south, but that front stalls out, then eventually just washes away. So we're not going to get any cool air out of this one. But the next front that creates that travel issue that I just referenced, that frontal boundary will be arriving on our doorstep by Christmas Day, maybe even Christmas Eve late in the night. And that will cool us down just a little bit. So forecast for today, nice out on the waters, west wind coming in at about 10 or southwest, shifting to the northwest at about 5 later on tonight through tomorrow morning. And the forecast calling for some very nice weather with a 10% chance of showers late today, followed by a couple of days of sunshine and warm temperatures. Monday, the front comes through with a 20% chance of showers early on, clears out on the second half of Christmas Day, I think. Daytime high, seasonable. About 72 have been running so far above average. And then over the next several days after that, temperatures in the 70s. Steph? Thanks, John. Well, some of the cash windfall from those new corporate tax cuts is set to trickle down to Main Street workers. ABC's Kenneth Moten tells us which companies are giving those major bonuses. The soon-to-be law heard around the world of business. It means jobs, 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 jobs. President Trump and GOP lawmakers celebrating the passage of a massive tax cuts plan they say will spur economic growth. Corporate tax rates permanently slashed from 35% to 21%. Several companies immediately hit send on press releases to announce employee bonuses, pay increases, and investments. A closer look at those businesses, Wells Fargo has been under close watch by Congress in the wake of its aggressive sales policies that led to a fake accounts scandal. Last year, federal regulators slapped the bank with a $185 million fine. Comcast, the major cable provider, stands to benefit after the GOP-led FCC recently voted to repeal net neutrality regulations, which could impact Internet speeds and hit consumers in the wallet. Then there's AT&T. AT&T plans to increase U.S. capital spending $1 billion and provide $1,000 special bonus to more than 200,000 
U.S. employees, and that's because of what we did. So. But the president has been critical of the telecom giant. His administration now suing to block a pending mega merger with Time Warner Cable. Personally, I've always felt that that was a deal that's not good for the country. Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen on MSNBC calling the business announcements a PR move. I think they are doing it as a PR stunt. These are some one-time bonuses. Sounds very nice, but that was not what was promised. Democrats have been highly critical of these moves by businesses saying they will only benefit executives and not create jobs. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Well, that theory you've had since your first iPhone mysteriously stopped working is finally confirmed. Apple is admitting to slowing down older iPhones, but the company says they have a good reason to. Yesterday, reports say Apple does slow down the iPhones because of battery problems. Older batteries can cause iPhones to shut down without warning. So to prevent that, the company reportedly says it has created software that manages batteries as they age. Now, the software is said to slow down those devices to keep them functional, but only when needed. A Forbes magazine article says the iPhone SE, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, and iPhone 7 are all impacted. And a TSA upgrade proven to be successful here in Florida is moving to other airports now. New automated screening lanes first tested out at Miami International are said to improve efficiency by as much as 50 percent. Now an airport in Massachusetts is going to be the next to give them a try. So what's different? Well, the bins are larger, so they fit everything that you're carrying. And then bags with suspicious items are now automatically diverted so it doesn't interrupt a screening process for other passengers. If you're someone who's ready to go and you want to move a little quicker through the system, it allows for that. Whereas previously, you really could only move as fast as the passenger in front of you. 12 airports in the country will be rolling out this new screening system. The TSA is hoping to launch more once they confirm its success. Well, last weekend's big power outage at the Atlanta Hartsfield Airport cost airlines big bucks, and Delta now wants the airport to pay up. The CEO of Delta told the Atlanta Journal Constitution that their losses may be between 25 and 50 million dollars, and that doesn't even include the money Delta is spending to reimburse travelers for their hotel stays. Hartsfield Jackson is the world's busiest airport, and that power outage forced Delta to cancel 1,400 flights. The power took almost 12 hours to restore in that case. And home sales hit 11 year high in November. This, according to the National Association of Realtors, the group's chief economist credits fast economic growth, record stock market highs, and job gains, all helping to feed demand for those homes. Now, prices are up to the median price for an existing home in November was about $248,000. Still ahead, what is new at the box office for the holiday weekend? Plus, we're going to tell you about a family Christmas tree that hasn't ended up on the side of the curb just yet. In fact, this thing has been around for decades. We've got the story right after this. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040.
Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Season's greetings from ABC7, your Suncoast News. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Heading to the movies over the holidays, here's one that hits close to home right here in Sarasota. New in theaters this week, The Greatest Showman is inspired by the life of P.T. Barnum. Hugh Jackman stars as a famous showman. Telling Entertainment Weekly he read three dozen books on Barnum to prepare for the role. It's been a dream project for him since 2009. It also stars Zac Efron and Zendaya, who does all of her own trape trapeze stunts in the film. Next, it has been rumored and hinted at for a while, but we now have official confirmation. Brace yourself, another Kardashian baby is on the way. Khloe Kardashian is officially expecting. She confirmed the rumors in an Instagram post on Wednesday. The reality star is said to be having a baby with NBA boyfriend Tristan Thompson. She calls it her greatest dream realized. No word yet on the sex or the due date. Some Christmas trees barely make it through the month to the big day, but one tree in Orange County, California has made it to Christmas for 34 years. This couple bought traditional Christmas trees for the first few years of their marriage, but in the 80s they decided to buy a living potted scotch pine. This tiny tree grew and grew and grew, and so now it's a pretty full-size tree, and some of these actually last for 150 years, so there's a good chance their son might eventually inherit the tree from his parents as well. Oh, Isn't that a cool, cool story, John? Right, Lovely, right? It sure is. So it's 30, 31 years old? Yeah, 30, so yeah. Must have started out like a little Charlie Brown tree. A little baby tree. tree. <laughs> a little, little baby little tree. tree. Tiny tree. That's that great. is right. Nice the story. news and weather continues both on air and online. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories.